Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanko Muhammad, has resigned from office, citing his failing health. Mr. Ahuraka Yusuf Issa, Special Assistant on Media to Justice Muhammad, confirmed the resignation of his principal on Monday. He says the next highest ranking justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Olukai Odiari Wola, will be inaugurated by the presidency later today. Concerns about Justice Muhammad's health crisis first came to the fore in December 2020 when he missed the inauguration and swearing in of 72 senior advocates, as was represented by the then most senior justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Bode Rhodes Vival, at the ceremony. Last year, Justice Muhammad was reported to have traveled to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates to treat an undisclosed ailment. Last week, a letter by 14 justices of the Apex Court accused the CJN of abandoning his responsibilities as the leader of the court by not fighting for better working conditions for the justices. Now, to help us make sense of this development, we are now being joined by Arise Assistant Director of News, Toby Shuniyi. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsday. What's the latest on this breaking story? What more can you tell us? Yeah, thank you. The, the situation is getting clearer now. Initially, nobody wanted to confirm whether the C Chief Justice of Nigeria has resigned or not. But about an hour ago, his media aide, Aura Kaisa, sent us an SMS confirming that his boss has indeed resigned. Also, the, the spokesperson for the Supreme Court has also confirmed to us that he tendered his resignation letter this morning. So we have made some progress. It's not clear that there is no more speculation that the CGN has indeed resigned on head grant. However, here in the Supreme Court, everybody is going about his or her normal work, businesses. I mean, it doesn't look like anything has happened. The court sat briefly to hear some cases. The, the most senior justice after the CGN, Mr. Justice Carl de Arruola, presided at the hearing. That is the situation in, at the Supreme Court presently. Everything is calm. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for Hello, that. Can you, you hear me, Lego? Yes, we yeah. can hear you loud and clear. Thank you so much yeah. for that update. We want to get a little bit more information yeah. about uh, the swearing-in ceremony later on today, and also Justice Ariwala, a little bit about him uh, very briefly as we are out of time. Yeah, just like the issue of the CGN resignation was initially shredded in mystery, the swearing-in too has not been confirmed. Our correspondent in the villa, in the state house, said he has not, she hasn't seen any indication that there will be a swearing in. But it doesn't take 10 minutes to do the swearing in, so it can still happen today. Also, the CJ, I mean, the next uh, most senior justice, Ariola, is still in his office as we speak. He has not left for the Supreme Court. So, whether they will be sworn in today or not is yet to be confirmed. But it can still be done. Like I said, it doesn't take 10 to 20 minutes to swear him in. And he will be sworn in at the State House, not at the Supreme Court. Yeah, he's been uh, quite, he has a quite useful experience as justice. He joined the Supreme Court in, in 2011. And he has written several judgments, both in election matter, land matter, I mean, criminal matters. So he's, he has very good reputation too. He has never been involved in any scandal. So we, and also he's from a young state. So the CGN office is likely shifting to the southwest. All right. I mean, most people will welcome that. So right. people Toby, have we want to say that the CGN that's the project can actually take right now. Thank you very much. We will still be catching up with you in the rest of the bulletin.